guys peace be upon him was the only messenger of almighty god whose follower as a whole they mistook him that he claimed divinity so that's the reason allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive the quran says in surah 4 verse 158 bal rafaha allahu ilayhi but god raised him to himself and this is the first question where is allah Some people say, no, Allah is on the arsh. Where is the arsh? On top of the seventh heaven. Allah is the all-knowing. Allah knew there will come a time in thousand years ago or whatever people used to consider the earth to be flat. Science has proven that false. With time, people have learned the earth is round. Earth is round. Okay. If the earth, if you imagine the earth to be round, if we are here, suppose on, on any point, if I can have anything round, Okay, I'll just make, suppose this is round, yeah? If we are here, the arsh is in which, uh, the seventh heavens is the which direction? The top, yeah? But the people here, for them, because they are standing upside down according to, yeah? So if they are there, which way is their arsh? Is, so is the arsh there or is the arsh there? So if you imagine that earth is on, the arsh is on the top, if the earth is on the seventh heaven, seventh heaven is there. But that's only for those people who are there. For those who are here, the earth is down there. So is the earth there or is the earth there? Excuse me, Mawlid Sahab. If Allah literally raised Jesus to Himself, as you believe, then in which direction would Jesus have moved? Did He move there? Or did He move there? So is the arsh there or is the arsh there? So what is there two arsh? Is there two gods? And for the, okay, for these people the arsh is there, for these people the arsh is there, for these people the arsh is there, for these people the arsh is there. That's illogical. So all this means wherever Allah refers to himself as being high, ulama have stated, uh, it means that Allah is most high. And most high in terms of honor, in terms of grace, in terms of dignity, not physical being and physical presence. If you give Allah a physical present, that is very, very dangerous. Uh, because then you are confining Allah and you are giving Allah dimensions. And if you give Allah dimensions, you are making Him like makhluk. Allah doesn't have dimensions. How is the movement of a physical body possible towards a being who has no dimensions and is not confined in space? Then how did Jesus physically ascend towards Allah? So all this means wherever Allah refers to himself as being high, ulama have stated, uh, it means that Allah is most high and most high in terms of honor, in terms of grace, in terms of dignity, not physical being and physical presence. Mawlwi Sahab, if Allah referring to Himself as being high doesn't mean His physical presence in some high place, then how someone raised to Him could mean a physical ascension? So all this means wherever Allah refers to Himself as being high, Ulama have stated, uh, it means that Allah is most high and most high in terms of honor, in terms of grace, in terms of dignity. Malwi Sahab, if Allah referring to himself as being high means that Allah is high in honor, grace and dignity, then why Allah raising someone towards himself would mean anything other than Allah raising him in honor and dignity. Especially when chapter 4 verse 158 and its context clearly shows that the Jews wanted to humiliate Jesus by claiming his birth to be disgraceful and by trying to cause him a cursed death. If you give Allah a physical present that is very very dangerous. Uh, because then you are confining Allah and you are giving Allah dimensions. And if you give Allah dimensions, you are making Him like makhluk. Allah doesn't have dimensions. But Mawlwi Sahab, you Mawlwis yourselves give Allah dimensions and confine Him in space. Because you and most of other Mawlwis 
take chapter 4, verse 158, literally, and thus believe that Jesus was ascended towards Allah physically. As if Allah has some physical presence in the heavens where Jesus was ascended physically. And then there's a big, big problem when you take things literally. By taking this verse literally, you Mulvies have created a big problem. You have given Allah dimensions and confined him in space and thus lost that true Allah who has no dimensions and is not confined in space.